Swiss prosecutors investigating allegations of tax avoidance have raided HSBC's Geneva offices. The bank was reportedly surprised, which suggests the Dawn raid was successful in at least one key aim. As to finding useful evidence, we'll have to wait and see. But banking editor Martin Arnold is here to explain to us what's happened. Martin. So, as you say, the Geneva prosecutor put out a statement saying that this they've opened a criminal inquiry into HSBC for money laundering and that they're likely to seek to question uh, people about, about um, the, the investigation. Um, this follows on, it comes almost uh, 10 days after um, uh, a, a vast trove of uh, data was used by 60 of the world's news organizations to publish um, fairly damaging allegations about uh, HSBC's clients of its Swiss private bank back in 2005 to 2007. And the uh, allegations uh, are that uh, HSBC helped these clients to evade the tax man, essentially. And just pull back for a moment. What do you think this means for the sort of broader story about HSBC, about this scandal? Well, it opens another front for HSBC, another legal front. They're already being uh, investigated in France. Uh, there's also a criminal inquiry being launched in Belgium and in Argentina. And the US, as part of its um, broad industry-wide uh, investigation into um, dozens of Swiss private banks, uh, the Department of Justice there is, is investigating HSBC's Swiss arm for similar, um, similar allegations. And overall, do you think there's going to be a broadening in regulatory action and interest on this question of tax avoidance through tax havens like Switzerland, Switzerland less so these days? Definitely. I think this couldn't have come at a worse time for HSBC, but also for the Swiss uh, banking uh, industry as a whole, because in the UK, we're two months away from a general election. So this has become a political football uh, in the election campaign. And in the US, we're also heading into an election campaign there where um, this, this issue has become extremely politicized. And it's been a, uh, a running sore in the US uh, politically that uh, HSBC was able to settle pretty damaging allegations of money laundering back in 2012 by paying a fine, almost $2 billion, but no uh, individuals or the bank itself um, were charged or um, were, there were no criminal right. um, charges were, were brought over that. It was a, a, a fine and they, were, they settled as a result of that. So that okay. has been uh, led to you know, criticism that these Indeed, banks are too big to jail. Exactly so. And um, should you care about it if you're an investor? The excellent Lex column uh, has a piece this morning saying that all this sound and fury amounts to um, a total of zip when it comes to the investment case for HSBC, which has robust capital and a very broadly based global operation. What do you think? Well, first of all, let me say the, the HSBC's uh, private bank generated about 3% of its pre-tax profits in the first half of last year. So this is a teeny tiny part of the uh, vast uh, enterprise that is HSBC, the world's second biggest bank by assets with a two and a half trillion dollar balance sheet. Um, but the problem for investors and perhaps the reason why the shares have gone up today um, and have outperformed the FTSE 100, by the way, um, is that it's very hard to quantify these things. Um, investors have known for quite some time, as I said, that the US have been investigating Swiss private banks for several years. The French have had some of this leaked data out of the, the, the client accounts at HSBC for many years. So investors have known there was this risk out there. It's very hard to quantify. And this isn't the only um, bank facing you know, lit litigation and, and legal problems. I mean, all the banks out there have got these legal issues. And it's very hard for investors to quantify yes. the scale of the problem for them. But what we do know is that the city quite often has a bit of a tin ear when it comes to political stories until they can really see 
how bad the damage might be. You can see that from post-crisis regulation, for example. Thank you, Martin. Thanks a lot.